Do you know what is the best resource farm in the Division 2? There is a simple farming route that you can run every day that will net you a huge amount of resources in under 12 minutes. We all know that the solar farm control point is a treasure trove for resource farming, but if you are focusing purely on that, then you are missing out. A ton of loot containers can be found between the sinkhole and just beyond the solar farm, the majority of which are between the control points. Searching for all of them will take a while, so I've done the hard work for you. Fortunately, many of the loot containers are grouped together, making it possible to plan a route to pick up the majority of the resources in the quickest time possible. And again, I've done the hard work for you by plotting out the optimum route you should take. Now you will have noticed that I've been playing footage of me running this route throughout this video. The actual run takes just under 12 minutes, but I've speeded it up because I don't want to waste your time. I will leave a link to the normal speed run in the comments below so that you can follow along at your own pace. There are a couple of other things that you should also be aware of. I would recommend speaking to the control officer in the sinkhole and donating resources to him before starting out. With the detection perk you pick up from the Quartermaster in the White House, loot containers will be more visible when you do this, even through walls. One of the things I do straight away each week is to capture all of the control points in the East Mall. I want to be able to farm for resources quickly, and being able to avoid firefights makes this a lot easier. Now one area where this is difficult is right at the end of the run, as the resource node there is often controlled by enemy forces. You can take a minute to take them out, or just stop your run short of them, or like me, try to run through them. Look out for more game guides on this channel, including great build guides like this one here. And do let me know if you have a favourite resource farm in the comments below.